Hello there carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at this and more specifically what's inside. So here we have Ridge Monkey's head torch. Now this isn't a brand new product, it's been out for about a year but it's the first time I've got my hands on one of them. So I'm going to use it later on tonight, I'm on a 24 hour session on my syndicate and right now as you can see I'm turning into a bit of a lobster. So I'm going to film a lot of this later on tonight but I'll talk you through some of the features now. Now before I get onto some of the light functions of this, the actual design itself is very clever. So to start with, the head, it tilts both directions. So if you're putting this on in a rush at night, often with head torches, you can put them on upside down. There's nothing worse than when you're coming to net the fish, try and tilt your head torch down and you can't move it. It can only tilt upwards. Whereas this, doesn't matter what direction you put it on, it tilts up and down. They've also put buttons on the top and bottom, which does exactly the same thing. So again, if you put this on one way, you've still got a button there to touch to change through all the different functions on the light. The strap itself starts off with kind of a, a leather start to it, quite a rigid strap, and then towards the back is the elastication. So instead of a fully elasticated head torch where it can sort of degrade over time and lose its strength, it's not all elastic. So the very back is the bit that changes for whether you've got a big head or a small head, and uh, it won't lose its strength. Big head or small head, can I leave that in? <laughs> Now with that strap design, it makes it a lot easier if you've got hair like me. I know not many people, if anyone has hair like me, but if I've got a fully elasticated strap, I find it's always moving around on my hair. Whereas with the sort of non-elasticated start of the strap on both sides, that's going to just, just grip onto the back of my head and shouldn't move position. Moving on to the main unit itself is a fully enclosed unit. On one of the sides is a rubber bung which pulls out and there's a USB in port. Now this is because all the batteries are included inside, fully rechargeable, so no need to be taking around spare AA's or AAA's, whatever, fully tight unit. Put that bung back in and it's completely water resistant. So if you're getting out in pouring rain or whatever weather conditions, this will stand up to it, won't get damaged. And if you were unlucky enough to knock it off your bucket or fall off your head into the margin, it will float and it won't get damaged. On the other side to the charging port is a battery level check. You press that once and four blue LEDs light up below one of the lights. So obviously four full blue LEDs is fully charged and when it gets down to one, it's time to recharge it. Now, as I said at the start, there isn't really an upside down to this thing due to the fact that it tilts both ways. And it also has a button on the top and the bottom, if there is a top and a bottom, which does the same thing. So if you press it once and you've got a directional beam, you've got two light levels on that one. You've got the low and then the medium press it a third time and you become to a directional beam, which is very, very helpful in the night if you're trying to find a spot on an island or a snaggy area, and you just need that directional beam to find exactly where you're casting towards. If you double tap the button, a green light comes on, and thus this is on the wide beam, and again, you've got two light levels for that. Now, the reason for it being green rather than the more traditional red is because there's a lot more definition with a green light, and that's scientifically proven and actually used in the military. So. That's the features of this. I'm gonna be using it tonight for sure, but we've also got the hard case. Now, as you saw at the start of the video, I got the head torch out of its dedicated case. Now, this is an optional extra, but it's perfect for ensuring that your head torch doesn't get turned on in the bag uh, between sessions. There's nothing worse than chucking it in your bag, accidentally hitting one of the lights on, and then when you come fishing the next time, you find it's completely dead. So it ensures that it's, not only does it get turned on accidentally, but also keeps it protected because it's a nice hard case. So there we go, a quick look at the Ridge Monkey Head Torch and Optional Extra case. Now the case comes in at $9.99 and if you didn't want to use it for the head torch, you can also use it as a utility pouch, maybe putting in some of your LEDs and things. And the head torch comes in at $49.99. For more information, please visit the Ridge Monkey website. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.